narrated by Abi Thar il Gifairi, may Allah be pleased with him. Reporting the Prophet peace be upon him, with regards to what he relates of his Lord, the unbeatable, the glorious, that he said, O oh my worshippers! Indeed I have prohibited for myself that I might be unjust, and I have prohibited that ye be unjust amongst yourselves. So do not be unjust to one another, O oh my worshippers! Ye are all mislead and misguided, except he whom I have guided him. So seek guidance with me that I might guide ye. O oh my worshippers! Ye are all hungry, except he whom I have fed him. So ask me for food, that I might feed ye. O oh my worshipper! Ye are all naked, except he whom I have clothed him. So ask me for clothes, that I might clothe ye. O oh my worshippers! Indeed ye sin by night and day, and I forgive all sins. So ask me forgiveness, that I might forgive ye. O oh my worshippers! Indeed you are unable to harm me, that I could be harmed by ye. Nor are you able to benefit me, that I could be benefited from ye. O oh my worshippers! If the early generations of ye, and the last generations of ye, be them of mankind amongst ye, or the jinn amongst ye, were as pious as the most pious-hearted man amongst ye, that would not add anything to my kingdom. O oh my worshippers! If the early generations of ye, and the last generations of ye, be them of mankind amongst ye, or the jinn amongst ye, were as mischievous as the most mischievous-hearted man amongst ye, that would not deduct anything from my kingdom. O oh my worshipper! If the early generations of ye, and the last generations of ye, be them of mankind amongst ye, or the jinn amongst ye, stood on one and the same ground and they beseech me, and I gave each one what he has asked for, that would not diminish of what I have got, except like what a needle decreases if inserted in an ocean. O oh my worshipper! Indeed it is but your deeds that I survey for you, then I shall recompense ye thereof. So whoever shall find goodness, then let him praise Allah out of gratitude and thanks, and whoever shall find otherwise, then let him blame none but himself. Narrated by Muslim, so, remember that Muhammad ascended to the seventh heaven, and reached to the load of extremity, and drew nigh where no creature had ever drew nigh before. Yet when he returned to earth, he remained serving his household. He used to milk the goat and mend his shoe. Also, a slave might come to ask that he would mediate for him with his master, and he would. And a young girl comes pulling him by his hand to intercede for her with her family, so he goes with her. He ascended to the seventh heaven, but he still ate form the same plate with the needy. He rode on a mule, and he ordered his army not to cut down a tree, nor kill a boy or a woman, and that the monks should be left in their monasteries to worship freely as the please. He was great before his ascension, and he remained great after he descended. He was great without pride, and eminent without arrogance, excerpt from the book, Muhammad by Dr. Mustafa Mahmud.